All right, we have uh, the arrows we want for this fight. I'm just going to make these ones real quick. We're going to do bleed, poison on x -Ikes. Bleed and poison. And hopefully not die this time. That Scarlet Rod attack, dude. I don't really know how to survive it. Like, consistently. This thing takes forever to poison. I guess it makes... Well, I don't even know if it makes sense just because it's a rot dragon, but... It can be poisoned. Honestly, x likes can probably be rotted, too. Okay, time for bleed. Big damage. Oh, here we go. Not good, not good, not good. I have no clue, dude. I just don't get it. Like, where is safe? Why did that hurt so much? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Beyondless. How's it going? Look at the Summer of Boletari. Is that a mod? I wish there was a way to buy, like, some sort of bleed arrows. You can buy poison arrows, like, actually just remembered. But that'll be later, I think, once we get to that merchant. This attack so awful. I already know it's gonna hit me, and I'm like way out here. Oh, see, now it doesn't hit me. I don't get it. Oh, oh, oh. Makes no sense. Zero sense. <laughs> Poison or rot this thing again? Or rot, bleed, whatever status effects I'm using. One more bleed would probably kill it. I just don't know if I can, I'm gonna get it. If I don't get it, it's kind of a waste of all of these bleed arrows. That's like the annoying thing. One bleed. Thank you. Worth.
All right, uh, jail cave. We only used like almost a hundred bleed arrows. Probably let those uh, take a break for a bit. No, yeah, we'll do bone arrows fine. The Mad Pumpkin Head Zero is going to be super annoying. I don't know if I want to use Bleed there or not. I don't really want to use it on the Arid Tree Avatar because I don't think I need it. Don't think I'm going to use it here, but I'll probably use Poison here. And then we have the... We'll have the Black Blade Kindred coming up. That's going to be probably just, like, regular arrows, because I don't think anything is going to be effective on it. I'm going to start pumping Vigor up to 60. So yeah, soon we'll be able to buy poison arrows, which will be nice. I just, I really wish there was somewhere you could buy bleed arrows. Buy bleed, yeah, I can't. Buy bleed arrows. But you cannot. At least like an unlimited supply, if any. But I don't think, I don't, I think it's just pretty much blood bone arrows or nothing. If there would be anywhere, it'd be Mogwin Palace, but... We're not going to be there for a while. Probably not today. I'd be shocked, honestly, if we somehow got there today. Like, yeah, I could rush it, but I don't care that much. No need. Maybe there's infinite blood rose, which would be enough. This is not the right way, is it? Stone Sword Key Check. 12. I have no clue how many I've used already. I'm gonna grab this one. I probably used, like, three. Weeping Ever Jail, and then... Oh, Fringe Folk Heroes Graves, two. So one, two, three, four, five. So I think we actually might have enough now for the rest of the run. Holy range, dude. Poisoned? Yes. Wow, that does nothing. 10 damage per second. I think poison should last longer than rot. Rot should, like, rot does way more damage. I think it'd be fair if poison lasted longer. It maybe does less damage overall, but, like, still does maybe, like, 75% of the damage or something. I mean, for all I know, that's how it works already. All the arrows just disappear. I love that. All right. Mad Pumpkinhead duo, what do we do? We can poison him. Do we want to bleed him? I'm definitely going to want Bleed Arrows for Grail. 
and probably poison as well. But, uh, I don't know. We can try poison here, I guess. Bleed, I think, is better for Grail. Poison will help, but I should have enough. Because I'm not really going to use poison on, like, any of the other stuff coming up. Probably use bleed for the magma worm, though. Yeah, you can use Torrent in here. I always forget this. I don't think it helps, but you can. Yeah, the problem is I can't fight them head on. Because their heads are in the way. to me. Why isn't it still cooking? Poison's gone. I think this guy's gonna be way more annoying to try and hit. Poison tears, okay. So you can't strafe it by putting the AoE here. Otherwise, you can strafe that attack, totally. Oh my god, dude. I have no clue to fight these guys. Never had these, this fight last this long. This way or the other way? I think this is a door. Oh, never mind. That's the way out. Sick. That wasn't that bad, I guess. Alright, for this, I think we'll do fire arrows, not fire bone. I guess I could use fire bone and just, like, get rid of them. They're not as good as fire arrows. It's kind of weird. Like, I, I feel like if you're going to craft arrows, they should be better than what's on the... Or what do you get from the merchants? 
Because it takes way more effort to do that. One too many arrows. Oh my god, the rod. It's everywhere. Think about the putrid avatar or the air tree avatar in the, the mountaintops. Oh, I was so lucky. Oh, that's not so lucky. Oh, that's very lucky. Really likes this slam. Another slam. And this. Nice roll, dude. Thanks, man. Well, yeah, that's what that's a tank you dude. When we hit the dragon bear, you're you're really gonna feel it. Like that'll be a good measure of how how little damage we're gonna deal. It's gonna be really bad. Especially with the first boss there, that Blackblade Kindred. It's going to be a nightmare. This fight is going to probably suck, too, just because it's going to take forever. Don't really know what to use here. Wow, I'm already out? Huh. Maybe I didn't buy that many. fun dungeon with 17 imps. I think there's like seven in here or something. That was a bad idea. Thank you, light roll. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to like stay away from these guys. It's just, you know, they're going to take forever to kill. And I don't really know what arrows to use. I'm going to just probably do regular arrows here. Do the bone arrows and then fire arrows. Because I don't know if they can be poisoned. I don't know if they can bleed. They're statues. I wouldn't think they could. But I have no, no idea. So this fight's just going to take a bit.
I forget you're on Twitch now, listen to you on YouTube. Not yet. <laughs> Eventually this will be on YouTube, I know what you mean though. I appreciate it. I think that's one of the toughest things when you're like streaming is uh like remembering to talk sometimes. Like when you do it enough, you kinda get used to it. But at first, I mean I think I feel like most people have that issue. Especially when you don't have a lot of people in your chat, you know? Cause I think a lot of bigger streamers, like depends on how big. Um, but like you hit a point, and I feel like there's, like, always chat activity or a lot of chat activity. But you also hit a point where you're, like, so large that you can't read your chat, so you kind of have to be good at talking to yourself. But, you know, you still have a chat to fall back on, if that makes sense. I feel like people who do YouTube, though, are probably best suited for Twitch, because if you're just doing YouTube and, like, you know, not streaming, you're already going to be used to talking to yourself. Probably, anyway. And you don't need a chat to rely on making conversation. Please stop. At the time, you're just sitting there being finished with the bowl. Fair enough. I mean, honestly, you can do whatever you want in the stream. You can stream with no mic if you wanted to. As long as you're having fun. Maybe you should try Barrage again. The last time I tried Barrage. No. I, if it's good for DPS, it's just, uh... Again, your arrows do less damage per shot, which is the only thing. It's still probably better to just use it. Unless there's a fight where I really need, like, all my arrows. Like, Reichardt or something. Why, why is it doing an extra shot? Magma Worm. Yeah, they probably... Yeah, I'm sure if you hit their head or something, it would probably do more damage. Can't be bothered, though, to try and aim at their head with a controller. I'm, I'm so bad at aiming with a controller. Used to be good at it before I, like, switched to mess and keyboard for shooter games, but I, I just can't now. It's so hard for me. So, probably bleed arrows for this fight. Definitely not fire. We do not want fire. Absolutely not. I actually am curious to see how much damage they deal, though. Uh, 
Let's see. More health, I guess. But shooters, I played a lot of Call of Duty. I played, I think, everything between COD 4 and Black Ops 2. Every Call of Duty that came out between those two. Including those two as well. That was the main one. And then I did I had a lot of Borderlands stuff, which, you know, it's not a PvP game, but it's still a shooter. Black Ops 4. Yeah, I... I don't even know why I stopped playing, to be honest. Can't remember. I think I got into League and I got, you know, more into that. And then eventually I just stopped playing PvP games altogether. After I started playing Borderlands. Yeah, Borderlands was my main content for... a while. 2015 to 2020. With a number of breaks between, but I haven't played it since I stopped streaming it pretty much. I mean, I played it like once or twice with a friend. But I haven't streamed it or made any videos for it or anything. since uh, 2020. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. Not the same for everyone, obviously. A lot of people have PvP games, but... I enjoyed... I, I just enjoyed, like, making different builds in Borderlands. All the different weapons that game has. There's like so much you can do in it. Man, we're burning through these bleed arrows. Oof. Jarman. All right, I can't use a thing here. Probably gonna need like 200 arrows for this Black Blade Kindred. Actually, probably more than that, <laughs> honestly. Watching me three years ago on YouTube and just made the connection. Yeah, I kinda, I made the second channel and just like haven't advertised it at all. <laughs> so. That's funny though. I was debating, too, on just, like, putting all this stuff on my other channel, but I just decided to make a new one, because it just felt like it made more sense, because the content's just so different. Back in the Borderlands days, yep. Honestly, they were fun days. I just got tired of the game. What's the, like, the, the downside of streaming one game? If you just get tired of that game and that's all your content, and you want to change it up, and it's something like every single streamer, YouTuber, whatever goes through, it's like, you know, how do you do that? Because you're going to lose, like, at least half of your audience, if not more. You know, I, I'd come off of a long break and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> that stuff's still there for, for people who want to enjoy it. I just, I'm not making more of it.
Man, this is gonna take a while. I would have thought this would have done more damage. This is like the least tanky boatman, too. Yeah, for me, it was Borderlands 3. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was just, like, working on the weapon guides, doing YouTube stuff, and I just got, I got so burnt out on it. I just couldn't bring myself to do it anymore. Because I don't think I played Borderlands 2 on stream since... I don't remember, actually. I can't remember what I was playing last. It might have been BL1. I mean, the Stampeding spattered him for him. And Space Remake is good, I have heard. I'll probably play it someday. I'd like to do the original first, just to, you know, see it. Yeah, I did too. I had a lot of time in BL3. Most of it, honestly, was like spent looking at weapon parts, though. There were those videos. Alright, well, now we're gonna get to the tanky stuff. This is not gonna be fun. We're probably going to need way, 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 way more bleed arrows. Never understood weapon parts in Borderlands. It's a pretty complex system that honestly you don't need to understand unless you're like trying to min max stuff. And even then, a lot of it's out of your control, right? You can't control what's going to drop. It only really mattered if you were using Cheat Engine or something, Save Editor. Then obviously you'd want like the most ideal parts. All right, what to do here? I, it's gonna suck. I might need more arrows, honestly. Let me go grab some. Go to my man, Kale. We have bone arrows, we have fire arrows. I'm gonna... I make more fire arrows? I don't really want to. This way, no, I don't care, Rani. No, why are you here? Apply on the witch. I'd heard Tantapon La Talk, the art was called for. I was in Strike Torrent. Go away. Forgive my intrusion, tarnished. Go away. Stop talking. I rest. She's gone. Okay. She's slowing me down. Goodbye. Okay. I don't even remember what I was doing. Dragon Barrow. Yeah, we got 300 arrows, more or less. I mean, I have more than 300. I just don't want to. Oh my, we could do these two. Forgot about those. This fight is gonna take a while, so strap in. Actually, hang on. What do I have for physics? Not that it's gonna matter, because this fight's gonna be more than like th three minutes, and any any physics I have is gonna run out. I don't think that's gonna be helpful. I could try this. I mean, with fire arrows, it's something. The heal's kind of useless, though. 
All right, well, there goes nothing. Oh my god. Is this just how every boss here is going to be? Well, actually, that's not true. Just this guy, because you can't do, like, any status effects to him. Be fire. I'm also going to put on the Adjudicator Shield. Just going to read my damage. Uh, maybe I should just heal this. I need the Ritual Sword Talisman. Damage. I could go run down to the name of the church I can't remember the name of. Church of Plague. Eighty-seven feels pretty bad, though. Okay, it's probably gonna be about two hundred arrows, I guess. Oh my god. Health regen physic might have been a good idea. Almost at half. <laughs> Probably use at least 100 arrows. I just hope the fire is like weaker. That means, you know, the other arrows we have are gonna be better. So this will go a little faster if I don't die here. Let's see, how much is a bone arrow deal? 72, well that's worse. It's also a bone arrow though. I'll try the holy arrows again, I think.
108. Oh. 80? Wait, what? 72? Must have been a counter hit. The fire arrows are actually really good. Surprisingly. Those are the strongest ones I had. Might not be stronger than, like, regular arrows, though. I hate that attack. I'm so just like bad at dodging it consistently. How long have we been in this fight? It's been like 10 minutes. It's probably been at least 10 minutes. why we need bleed <laughs> i mean that guy can't bleed but like every fight in the late game is going to be like that if we don't have bleed or rot or frost or poison or whatever you know every fight is going to be like 10 minutes and post morgoth there's probably like 20 something fights i'd say maybe almost 30 I can hang on. Change this physic. I might do health regen, honestly. Health regen and stamina. Regen. At least health regen for now. Until I get some better stuff. Poison get sick. Any bleeds? What do we do for the Knight's Cavalry? I 
That thing's gonna suck to try and kill. Give me one more bleed, please. Oh, sick. I need to get another blue flask, too. Come on, really? No bleed? I'm almost tempted to, like, take out the horse and then just try and barrage the Knight's Cavalry. But he'll probably just summon the horse, like, immediately, and I don't think it's going to be worth it. How many more bleed arrows do we have? Oh, you know what boss is going to suck? The, uh... Can't think of the name of it. The Crystallians. Oh, that might kill me. Think I'm gonna die? Okay. No death. I never know when going off of those. Jumping down, it's like 50 50 chance sometimes. You just jump down the wrong way and then randomly die. Alright, what do here? Is it late night or nighttime? Make it nighttime. I don't want to take the chance he despawns. I don't know if he would if you're fighting him, but also don't really want to find out. We're gonna see if we can poison a knight's cavalry. I would like bleed for the beastman duo. Ideally both bleed and poison, honestly. This is going to be so hard to actually poison him. I hate that attack. It's got an AoE, which makes it just absolutely awful. It doesn't make any sense either. Like, why would that attack have an AoE? I thought he got poisoned, actually, for a second. Yeah, I don't know if you can even poison this guy. I hope you can. Otherwise, these arrows are a complete waste. Oh, yeah, he's poisoned. Not very much damage, though. But maybe that's just poison. jump that. I don't... Has he bled yet? I don't think he has. Oh, there we go. I don't think I'm gonna do more bleed, because I'm gonna save these. I think I'm just gonna use ring their arrows here. I don't think I'd bleed him again. I think with the poison... Like, it would take him down too quickly. His bleed resist seems like pretty damn high. Okay, never mind. Poison just ran out. Either way, regular arrows, I think, are uh, how I'm going to go here. So I think there's... I don't know if the Forbidden Lands... Knight's Cavalry is more tanky than this one. I know the Snowfield ones definitely are. That's going to be like a 15-minute fight, probably. Shot. 
Dude, hit him. This is so awkward. Insane tracking. Poison, bleed, bleed. Thank you. I will do fire for the avatar, probably. And then the Celia trio, I, I honestly don't know what the best thing to do would be. I guess we'll just find out when we get there. That's going to be a very long fight, though. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, I don't know. We'll see. This fight could be bad. I think that I can kill one of them, though, before the other one sees me, but... I feel like I remember doing that on the Blackbow run or something. like a super short cave. I only have 75 bleed arrows? That is not ideal. Okay, never mind. So much for that theory. Wait, the other one doesn't has no clue where I am. This must be like exactly what happened last time. Oh, yeah, I think he's becoming aware. No, he's not. Are these reaching? Nice bleeding, that's good. Or poisoned, rather. He's throwing knives out the most insane tracking. Don't hit the other guy! I gotta get over my left a little bit. Dude, that damage is ridiculous. They have no clue. Oh, now he knows. If I take out this guy, we're fine. He's almost dead. Oh, he strafed that. Still poisoned. A couple more arrows and then we're good. I, I'm missing so many shots though. Alright, he's dead.
Almost there. Please stop. Stop doing that attack. He's gonna keep doing this attack. Okay, I see you. Actually, I get so much range doing it. Poison's gone. 15 more bleed arrows. Let's get more. They lasted a while, though. I mean, they lasted an hour, which is what I was hoping for. I'm not going to bleed this guy. We're going to do fire, I think. I'm going to try the flame crack tier, whatever it's called. Probably won't be that helpful, though. I don't even know if it would, like, matter, honestly, for these arrows, to be honest. Oh, I have 19. That's not great. Never mind, then. Not doing that. Too lazy to get more, so we're just going to do fire. I don't think it would make a huge difference anyways. To put the health regen back on. So what do you have? Regular poison? I wonder if you can poison this guy. I don't actually know. I guess we'll find out. He's a putrid avatar. You think you can poison a putrid avatar? Probably. Still no poison. Not yet. It might not even be possible. Holy arrows. Still nothing. I'm leaning towards not possible at this point. Gonna be honest. Like, we've used 50. I mean... I feel like it's probably not possible. Dude, what? Insane ways to poison arrows. Dude, how am I not getting around him? Like, I don't know how I'm getting quite a lot there. I feel like I'm not doing anything differently. That's not going to it. That's not good. Stop. All right. Yeah, we're... we're I'm going to use every single one of these, but I, at this point, I don't think we're going to poison him. I don't think it's a thing. Just 
staggered him though. That's pretty neat. It's always surprising when you get a stagger with a bow. Honestly. No poison. Oops. I'm not playing this well at all. Won't die. You know, with the light roll, you actually might be able to dodge that more easily. Like rolling through it. Okay. Through that fight. I wonder if you can poison... I have any in storage? 62. I wonder if you can poison the Crystallians. I'm gonna guess no. But we're gonna try. Pretty sure we're good on Stone Sword Key, so we don't need that. It's probably like a place you can drop down over here somewhere to not die and be closer to the cave the tunnel whatever it's called i think it's a tunnel technically right here right <laughs> trying to hop through it with torrent it wasn't working this fight's probably going to be insanely long. Actually, with Barrage, it might not be that bad. I don't know. Let's see. Level... Man, that is a pitiful addition of damage. I should probably just go Vigor to 60 and then worry about Dex. Let's get another blue flask. Try one, we'll see if it's fine, and then if it's not, then we'll do two. So we have a lot of different arrow types. I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna try and poison these things. Probably won't work, though. But maybe it will. Either way, this is gonna be like a 10 minute fight, easily. Once they break, it'll be better, but it's going to be really slow going until they do. Even when they break, it's still not going to be great. Royal Revenant. I just forget where this is. I just want these boluses. I might need them here. I also think I'm going to put the icon shield on because this is just going to be a very, very long fight. And then let's do this. Oh, I don't remember. What did I have for my physic? I didn't. I kind of forgot about that. Do I have fire? No. Got health regen. Do this too.
I highly doubt you can poison these things. But we're gonna get the ability to buy poison ears after this anyway, so... I don't mind wasting them. Got them in the head. Wait, is he poisoned? Oh my god, he is poisoned! Dude, this guy next. This attacks is dumb. I am dumb too. With the spear, or the mage rather. Twelve of these left. Hopefully we can poison him. Poison? No. Please. No! He's not gonna get poisoned. Three arrows left. He got rot on me too. Oh, he was poisoned. The last one. Sick. And when do they break? Okay, that's not that bad, honestly. I mean, it's not good, but I thought it'd be, like, much worse. Poison's gone. This guy, I think, has less health than the other two. Yeah, good luck doing anything. Go, I'm out, I'm out of arrows. Okay, we got plenty still. We still got like another 200. I'd rather not use the rod ones. I didn't see what else I had. I had some fire ones, I think. Take this off. We 
just whittle this guy down and we're good. Like five damage a hit, baby. It's like hitting a wall. Only the finest boss fights in Elden Ring. At least this is the worst Crystallion. It'll be done, and then the other ones are just easier every every single other one. Spike for stamina. All right. My God, that was a while. It's over, though. So four more bosses in the Dragon Barrel. Kind of. Well, two of them really aren't, but... We have the Apostle, which is going to be super annoying. That I'm going to want bleed for. And then this Bellberry Hunter, which I you know maybe should get more bleed arrows for that too. We have poison still, or am I out? I am out. Yikes. We can just try regular and see how bad it is. I only have 19 fire arrows. Yikes. Not good. Well, we can get poison arrows right here, I think. So that'll help. And then just do regular, and then we'll go get bleed arrows after that or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go get more bleed arrows now. Let's talk to this guy. Well, it's been a, how can I help? Let me buy all of these. Wait, did I not buy them? Buy them. 